All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and do a quick unboxing, run you through the modes on your new Evo SP. So first off, you're going to have some nice directions here. These are really well written and easy to follow. And you're going to have your warranty card. Don't forget to fill that out. Inside your box, you've got your gimbal battery charger over here and You've got a counterweight for those of you who have a really big phone and I'll show you how that goes on. We are going to go ahead and explain the battery charger real quick. You have, there's a couple LED lights on the bottom here. When they're red, it means that your batteries are charging. When they turn blue or green, then that means that your batteries are totally charged and they're ready to go. You have a USB plug. You can plug this into the wall, into your computer or whatever. It just plugs into the side right there and pretty simple. So the batteries will be installed when you get it. So the one thing you just want to make sure is that you do take them out, charge them. Um, you want to make sure that this cap, when you are ready to go ahead and use it, that this cap is nice and tight. A lot of times people won't tighten it up enough and it won't turn on properly. If you do have a larger phone, there's, you can see on the end here, there's like a little threaded piece in there. And this will screw on right here and it just gives you a little more counterweight so it'll balance a little better and it's gonna perform a little better that way too. So I've got my iPhone. I'm gonna go ahead and plop this guy right on there. So it goes on pretty easy. I'm just gonna go ahead and push it all the way over towards the motor there. And it's fairly balanced. It's a little bit heavy on this side, but it's still gonna work just fine. We're gonna go ahead and just set it down on a flat surface that's not moving. Doesn't really matter what position it's in, just as long as it's not moving. So there's a little LED light right here. And when that comes on, there's gonna be a quick sequence of lights. So I'm gonna turn that on, the button's on the bottom right there. So that's it right there, now it's calibrated. Now it's gonna keep flashing and you're gonna see, let's see, we've got two lights, which means my battery is at 50%. If it's flashing a sequence of four, that means you're 100%, three means you're at 75%, two is 50 and one is 25 and it's time to charge your battery. So it'll work just fine at 50 but when you get it you are going to want to go ahead and charge it so you have these three buttons here the middle button that's kind of off to the side is your mode button that's the one that you're probably going to be flipping through the most uh, moving your camera and adjusting and then these buttons are obviously going to be your tilt so i'll go ahead and run you through it real quick so it's ready to go as you can see, I picked it up and it's not working. It's not doing what it's supposed to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and hold that mode button down and it's gonna fire up the motors. I'm gonna do that again. So I'm gonna turn them off and I'm gonna hold this mode button down for about three seconds and it's gonna fire the motors up. Now it's working. So now you can see as I'm moving it around, it's actually staying flat to the horizon. If I was to use my buttons, I could go up and I can go down and pan that way. And this mode is called the heading follow mode. And if you wanna go into the heading lock mode, you just hit that mode button one more time. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna hold that position. So now it's locked in this way. It's not gonna change when I'm turning or moving my hand, it's gonna stay locked in that position. So if you're, doing a shot where you know you have to be going that direction. It just eliminates any movement that you would have coming out of it. So to get out of that mode again, just click that once and you can see it pops out of that mode and now it's following again. If you wanna go into the heading pitch follow mode, let's go ahead and push that button twice. Now you can see as I tip the camera gimbal down, it's actually moving and following. So if you're following somebody down a staircase, this is a really easy way to kind of get that tilt without having to use your buttons. Um, when you are using your buttons, the up and down in this mode will make the camera turn like this. So you'll get a little bit different horizon. So um, in this mode as well, you can flip the whole entire camera upside down and you can use it in this inverted way. 
And then if you wanted to lock it in here, you could push the mode button once and that puts you in the same function as mode one was. So now it's gonna keep the camera flat. So when you're ready to flip it back over, just hit that button two times again. And now you're in the follow mode and you can slowly flip it around and you're back on, around using it in this mode. And when you wanna go back to mode one, just push that one time and now you're back in mode one. So lots of really cool things that you can do with these. Um, a lot of guys are using extension poles with these so that they can get like really crazy crane looking shots. So you can get like a painter's pole or even just a broomstick would work. We've got these little adapters on our website. Just goes on here and you screw it onto a pole and you can get some really, really cool crane shots. When you do have it on the pole, we have this extension. So you have all the access to your tilt and your modes. Um, on the side of your gimbal right here, there's a little USB port and you just plug this thing right into it. And now I have full function of my tilt and going into my modes and everything else right from this thing here. So it's really great. I hope this is helpful. Thanks for watching you guys.